So, are you ready for Christmas? Have you completed all of your shopping? I assume your decorations are up. Are you traveling? If so, are you packed? Do you have an idea of what food you will be cooking for your festive events? There is a lot involved with prepping for the holidays. Are you ready? As a Christian, are you ready spiritually? Regardless of how you feel about the trappings of materialism during the holiday season, unless you are a true Scrooge, you will have to engage with people during the holiday season. Some of you will be required to attend the company party. Some of you will be visiting your grandparents at their house. Some of you will be hosting your family at your house. No matter what your feelings are about the Christmas season, it will profoundly impact you with its cultural grandness. As a disciple of Christ, our kingdom commerce is faith, specifically faith in Jesus. The Christmas holiday is an opportunity for us to meet new people at that party or family gathering. It's an opportunity to plant new seeds of faith. More lives are changed at the punch bowl of a party than from a pulpit of a church. People come to church with their guard up. People go to parties to let their hair down. Some people are depressed during the holidays. We can gain great psychological territory by just listening, being present, and engaging with people in these settings. So I ask again, are you ready? Before you go to the party and engage with that discouraged soul, have you eaten the correct foods? Only a fool goes to a Christmas gathering on an empty stomach. You should always eat a little before you get there. At the party, you have no control over the food quality or when it will be served. I always eat a little before festivities so that I have the luxury of polite public eating. Spiritually, you should be full of God's word before the party. The Gospel of John describes Jesus as God's word. In that same gospel, Jesus calls himself the bread of life. Don't show up to the party on empty. Before you start your holiday festivities, have you hung your decorations? I personally don't do physical decorations, but I believe in spiritual ones. What do I mean? The greatest lie that we tell ourselves is that people cannot see our souls. Emerson wrote, I can't hear what you are saying because who you really are is screaming in my ears. Most of us wear our emotions on our face. Our countenance reflects our inner life. Your soul tells your story. What decorations are you hanging before you walk in the room? If your decorations are joy, love, and peace, people will be comfortable to approach you. A good person with good intentions can wear the decorations of fear or anxiety at a party. Those decorations push people away who need our testimony. Again, how have you decorated prior to the party? Before you see that old cousin at your aunt's house, have you finished shopping? Physical shopping can lead to debt and materialism. Spiritual shopping is focused on praying for people that you will meet. Through prayer, we find empathy with people and their needs. The best gifts are given with thought and preparation. Many people just throw money at the concept of gift giving. The mature receiver can sense when that happens. People can also detect when someone has been thinking and praying for them. Have you been spiritually shopping for people before you run into them? When you spiritually shop for people, guess what? You don't have to spend so much money. As the old adage goes, it is the thought that truly counts. Are you prepared to travel? Many of us travel hundreds of miles to see loved ones. Are you packed? Do you really know where you are going? If you are packed, have you packed wisely? Many of us will carry hurts from the last Christmas party into this year's Christmas party. We will remember what people said or what people did. We will pack pain on our trip. We will pack hate on our trip. We will pack unforgiveness on our trip. We will pack regret on our trip. All of that baggage bears a mental burden that makes us fruitless with our witness. Jesus said that his burden was light. His life, death, and resurrection empower us to let it go and travel light. 
What are you packing this Christmas? 1 Peter 3.15 encourages us to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks us a reason of the hope that is in us. Part of being ready this holiday season is involved in the spiritual preparation that we commit to before the party. You can be used by God to change someone's entire life trajectory. You can't do that if you haven't decorated, eaten, packed, and shopped before you walk into that party. We get ready in the physical for the holidays, but do we get ready for the spiritual? Remember, the preparation that I speak of will only cost you time. Are you ready?